Hi everyone, it's May 10, 2010. I'm Dwight Schmuck. This is the Schmuck Look. Well, actually it's the second Schmuck Look for today. But this one is Schmuck 2 Tea Partiers. And I pray that somebody sends this on to them. Because, you know, this uh, Rhett Miles that I spoke with this morning, or two, well, he's a neocon, and I'm pretty doggone sure from the sounds of it, he's a tea party guy. And, you know, he called me a thief, and I've been thinking on that all day again today. And, you know, I'm going to take a little more umbrage. So, here we go. You know, according to your platform, well, if the government isn't protecting your rights, it's it's theft to take your taxes for community purposes. Yeah! God, I wish you guys had been around in the 50s and 60s at the end of polio. Again, government taxation theft wiped out a usually fatal disease. We had thousands and thousands of people in iron lungs because they got polio. And Dr. Salk, with the help of government financing, developed the vaccine for this. And I remember, I was like, oh, 11, 12, maybe 11, 10, I don't know, somewhere around there, before my teens, at the Central Elementary, High, Central Elementary School in South Williamsport, Pennsylvania, we were passing out free, oh, can you imagine, more theft, the Salk vaccine on a Saturday. Actually, it was a couple of Saturdays. Us Cub Scouts were there to help. It was a community purpose to try desperately to wipe out what had been a terrible disease that forced countless families into poverty, penury, you know, because bankruptcy wasn't so widespread in those days. It wasn't so easy. Of course, you didn't have so many credit cards either. People who just had to sell you something that you had to buy because, well, they had it for sale. Oh, yeah. Gee golly. Uh, that also is something the government probably shouldn't be in. It's theft, isn't it? Departments of Weights and Measures, uh, inspecting, you know, food inspectors and all that, because they're not actively protecting your rights. Why, there's nowhere in the Constitution, how about a Tea Party ears, where it says you have the right to eat untainted food. That's not in there, is it? More theft, more thievery, more theft. But guess what? You have been the beneficiaries of it. So I kind of expect you, being the schmuck I am, to turn yourselves all in tomorrow for being thieves. Yeah, like that's going to happen, isn't it? Oh, it doesn't account when it, uh, when it applies to you. It doesn't apply to you. I get it. Tea party my butt. More like tepid. Your reasoning is flawed. You've all been... Unless all of your mummy and daddies were so wealthy and affluent they could afford private schools, you've been the beneficiary of the government taking tax money from people but not actively using it to protect your rights because there's just nowhere in the Constitution of the United States that says you have the right to a free education or paid for by other people. Isn't that the truth, they little bunkies? Yeah, you got my dandruff. Tea party my behind. You are the greedy pig party. With all due apologies to our poor sign, mammalian relatives. And yeah, I call them relatives because, you know, well, they've used pig valves in humans and, you know, all kinds of things like that. So, and I'm thinking today, yeah, I should really apologize because... You're not pigs, you're hogs. You are swine. You roll around in the crap and exult in it while you forge through the crap for that extra kernel of corn because, well, somebody owes it to you because, well, somebody said you're special. You see, they lied and you believed it. 
more fool you. All you are, really, is a bunch of dullards, asses. You might want to look in the dictionary for the definition of ass, dull, stupid person. Thank you, Mr. Webster, and thanks to a public education that I, you know, well, I let it go to my head. It's really too bad you guys didn't. You know, the end of the Pledge of Allegiance, liberty and justice for all, not just a select few. Yeah, you might want to remember that Tea Party people, not just a select few. I know you want to be the elite, that you want to be this, that, and the other thing. That's your whole damn problem. You all are nothing but a bunch of scared, whimpering wannabes. You're terrified of playing on a level field. You're terrified of people like me. Because I'll stand right up to you face to face, Bunky. You want to play, I'm the schmuck to play with. But you'll lose big time. Ladies and gentlemen, I do hope my friends forgive me for this. But like I said, I've just had it with these people. I've been called a thief one too many times in my life. I've never been a thief. I don't steal from anybody. I just asked, you know, my thing, the Social Security that Rhett Miles was complaining about. Yeah, I want my raise too. You know, some joker said, well, you know, cost of living didn't go up. I'd love again to know where this son of a gun does his shopping. Of course, he probably has a personal shopper. He probably has never been in a store. Oh, I bet in the last seven or eight years, he has absolutely no concept what's going on out here. Of course, the Tea Party guys, they don't have much of a concept either because they're all blinded by hate and fear and stupidity. You know, it's really not your fault about being stupid, but it is your fault about being ignorant. The government takes a lot of money in taxes, uses it for things other than what is constitutionally your rights or protecting your constitutional rights. On the other hand, you've been the benefit of all of these things. And, you know, that makes you as big a thief, doesn't it? I'm Dwight Schmuck. That's today's schmuck look. Peace out there.